Hey everybody, it is Winter Mute here to do the third Commonwealth turn. So this would be 3.4 July of 37. So first thing we're going to do is our two tech rolls. And so what we're going to have is we're going to have long range aircraft. Whoops. And we're going to re I haven't even seen it. We're going to reroll that in the bin this time. There we go. And I get a 10. So we get long range aircraft. Then improved factories. I got a three. I missed that one. So I'm going to adjust real quick before I forget. Okay, so I think we're just on par with 50-50 uh, for all our rolls, which is about right. Then as far as builds go, get that out of the way. So the UK themselves are actually going to build, uh, they're going to do a uh, militia upgrade, three militia. And then we're going to build a colonial infantry in Sudan and one in Transjordan. And these are from the expansion. Then the FEC is going to do an infantry upgrade. Or militia upgrade to infantry, I should say. And then we're going to build a special colonial infantry in British Malaya. And then Anzac is going to start a fortification in Sydney. And that's all for the builds. I'll scoot that down and we'll go right into our non-combat movements. Let me get my sheet here. I uh, really am happy with writing all this stuff down ahead of time. Helps me remember it, helps me keep it all straight because I can be a bit of a scatterbrain. So I'm gonna have to shift around a little bit to get this done though. So here what we have is we have a transport starting in C zone 29 and he's going to move to 95 which is here at the line line islands i'm sorry i got that glare there i'm not sure quite how to get rid of that but anyway um that's also why i like to call out the zone so it, even if you can't necessarily see it you can hear it so he's going to start in c zone 29 he's going to move to c zone 95 he's going to take these two canadian specialty infantry with him one two three and he's going to drop them off in the line islands Though I was really tempted, since seeing as how um, General Hand Grenade figured out my strategy there with moving them to Southeast Asia, I almost want to not do it out of spite just to prove him wrong. But, uh, you know, I can't come up with a better play, so we're going to just stick with that. All right. On to... Down this way. So I've got a... Starting in Season 136... I have a transport who's going to pick up this colonial infantry from Fiji. And then he is actually going to strat move over to Calcutta and drop the sky off there. So one, two, three, four, five. He's going to end in C zone 87 and drop that colonial infantry in Calcutta. Then also in 136 to Z zone 144. And I need to back up a little bit. Whoops. And I'm knocking guys all over the place. He was in South Africa. I could never, man, I knock out, I knock South Africa over all the time. So 136 to 144. 144 is right here. Then we're going to go C zone 146 to 144, which is going to be that same zone. And all of that stuff is going to go there. C zone 83 to 144. So 83 to 144, which is where everybody else just went down here off of the Australian coast. We are going to go 85 to 33. That coastal sub will slide over one. And let me get situated here. 79. Oh, yeah. Let me remember that one. 82 is going to strap move down to 116. And let me slide over again. So he was in 82 and he's going to strat down to 116. Right. 82 to 116. Right. Okay. Sorry. I had to double check something there. All right. C zone 79 to 24. And I tried to do these a little bit more in order so that they're a little bit easier to follow across the map, but I can only do so much because the Commonwealth is all over the place. 
So C zone 79 to 24 is going to be a transport. He's going to move up three, join that fleet up there. 79 to 83 is going to be the sub. And of course, 83 is over here in Aiden. 79 to 114, a destroyer. So that destroyer is going to come down here to 114 from 79. C-Zone 80 to 79, everything is going to slide over here now from that C-Zone. And I'll organize that a little bit better in a bit. 24 to 79. Okay, so from 24 to 79, we have the battle cruiser, a heavy cruiser, and a destroyer. Battle cruiser, or heavy cruiser. And those are all going to go down to 79. It's going to get a little crowded there. 79. So from 25 to 79. So let me scoot up. Oh, let me pull this back a little bit. We're going to have two heavy cruisers from the English Channel, go down to 79. And then here, we're going to have everything that's left slide over to 24 from the channel. So 25 to 24, everything that's left is sliding over. And then from 24 to 25, we're going to take this torpedo boat destroyer and we're going to put him over in the channel. And he'll be over there by his lonesome. And then we're going to take this medium bomber from London. Oops, the medium bomber from London. One, two, six. And he's going to land in Gibraltar. And that is it for my non-combat movements. Place units. So, let me... I'm going to start over here with Anzac because they're pretty simple. All we're going to end up doing is putting out this construction marker in Sydney. And then for India, we're going to take this militia from Haryana and upgrade him to an infantry. And then we're going to take that British Malayan unit and we're going to put him in British Malaya. And then for London, or the United Kingdom proper, we are going to, let me double check my notes. Make sure I do this the right way. Okay, and this infantry upgrade is going to go into Northern Ireland. Let's see. The Transjordan Colonial Infantry is going to go in Transjordan. Same, and the Sudanese Infantry is going to go in Sudan. You can figure out where that is on the map without me showing you, I'm sure. Now I've got three militia left to place. So one is going to go into Cyprus, right off the coast of Syria here. That's where one of the militia goes. And then I'm also going to put one militia in the British Midlands and one militia up in Scotland. And we're going to slide him up to Scotland. Okay, um, and that is it for all of my placements. Pretty straightforward this turn. Now, as far as income left on hand, what we're gonna end up with is Britain is gonna have a total of 13. That's what they're gonna collect. Um, FEC had one left over. They're gonna collect five for a total of six. Anzac is going to have three left over. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, they're going to have two left over, then they're going to collect three for a total of five. And Canada was sitting on six. They're going to collect two for a total of eight. So that's everybody's ending money on hand. Um, yeah, so again, pretty simple, straightforward turn for the British. And I'll have the French up in just a bit.